Hey guys, Briar Rabbit here. The Dreadnought Strike live stream just ended, and we got to see a full run through of the Shield Brothers Strike, and we learned some new information about the updated subclass trees. The Night Stalker was actually updated a ton, and we have a complete breakdown of all the new changes to it on our site. I'll link the article in the description. If you look at the before and after on it, you can see that Bungie really made some strides to keep it as balanced as possible. Personally, I can't wait to get my hands on the Night Stalker class and truly become a support hunter. This is going to be awesome. Also, we got a first look at artifacts. The Hunter, Warlock, and Titan artifact that you can see on the screen are examples of ones that you can expect early on, but there will be legendary versions with even more power. As you can see, artifacts will provide a talent with a chance to generate orbs in an alternate way. For example, elemental melee kills. These are non-cosmetic items, so you're not going to look any different with them equipped, but they will definitely help you out with your super regeneration, which I'm really looking forward to. And most exciting, we got a glimpse of sword gameplay. Stay tuned until the end to see that. It's pretty epic. And finally, before I go, be sure to check out the latest Game Informer video. They interview Bungie about year one and how destiny has changed for the better. They also give us a little shout out, which is pretty awesome. Bungie talks about how they realized that if you didn't get a certain piece of gear from a raid, you'd be stuck with leveling until you grind that gear. They definitely realize this is a mistake. We also get a look at what the director screen will look like and they tease that we'll be revisiting Crota's end area in the Taken King, possibly for a story mission of some sort. Other than that, not much else was shown off that you can't watch on our Shield Brothers walkthrough video. Patrick was invited to a capture event at Bungie and was able to get HD gameplay of it, so you can check it out along with his impressions on that strike and see how the Night Stalker performs. Keep in mind that they were all level 40s and the strike difficulty was set to easy at level 36, but it still looked like a ton of fun. I really like the changing mechanics of the final boss fight. First one boss comes out, then he disappears, then another boss comes out, then he disappears, then you've got to fight them both at the same time. It looks epic, it feels epic, I can't wait to get my hands on this strike. Anyways, I don't want to make this video too long as we have lots of new videos up on the channel already that go over this new content. I'll link everything in the description so you guys can easily go watch that stuff after this. Don't forget to subscribe to Planet Destiny for all the latest Taken King news, and you can also help me out by stopping by the Briar Rabbit channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys yeah, next maybe time. This, maybe this does something. I don't know. Oh, good. 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 Do this. Do a few things there. Like maybe shield some things. Is that, is that how this works? It looks seems like it was block damage. Maybe I should have been using this. Is that? I don't know. Nah. Oh. oh. Look at that. You can't stop me. I have no power here. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, I'm out of ammo. He has power. He has power. He has power. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have a fire team. Someone give me some ammo. Alright, right, what's next? Like a lightsaber. I'm out of it. <laughs>